A Wisconsin man leads police on a chase after stealing a city parking enforcement jeep. Watch as police try to box him in. He hit my squad. He hit my squad. Yeah, this happened last September, but police just now releasing video of the chase. This went on for nearly 20 miles. Eventually, officers got the stolen Jeep to stop, arrested the driver with guns drawn. No one ended up being hurt. Suspect was later sentenced to three years in prison. State Senator John Bison will avoid jail time for inappropriately touching a nurse last year. The Battle Creek Republican was charged with assault after the nurse told police he pulled her toward him and squeezed her hip in an exam room while they were discussing treatment options for COVID-19. He later pleaded guilty to battery, a misdemeanor. Today, he was sentenced to one year probation and must pay more than $1,100 in court costs and fines. He can also have no contact with the victim. Tomorrow's a big day for the Arkansas Razorbacks. They take on the uh, top seed in their region, Gonzaga, in San Francisco. But for one fan, tomorrow is a dream come true. Cole Phillips, a blind student in Arkansas, has been attending games for years, bringing his dad to every game to serve as his personal play-by-play -play announcer. Well, Cole recently launched a fundraiser so he could watch his Razorbacks play in the Sweet 16. He was able to raise enough money for both of them to travel to the game. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's indescribable. I mean, it's about, I went from having no spring break plans to the best spring break I've ever had. <laughs> Every time somebody donates $10 to his GoFundMe, <laughs> Dad, Dad, there's $10 closer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, their goal was to raise $5,000. They topped that, raising just under $6,000 so far. That's really sweet. Yeah.